as the circulation is moving towards there, then eventually it will move over towards the Leonard area. So right in that western part of Bigsby, Bigsby, South Bigsby, over towards the Leonard area, that's where the center of that circulation is moving towards right now. Of course, tornado warnings continue also further up the line. Uh, we're watching the circulation now to the south of Adair. Not as strongly defined as it was, that's good. But still, folks in Strain and Hudal, that circulation is moving towards you. So if you live in the eastern parts of Mays County near Strain and Hudal, and eventually on up towards Spavanaugh, that circulation is moving in that southeasterly direction. And then, of course, we have this other circulation uh, near Shoto or just to the north and west of Shoto. That's going to move over towards um, Sam's Corner, Sportsman Acres, and uh, over towards Murphy in the next few minutes. So right now it's in Shoto. In Shoto, you, you, should, be in the, you should be in your place of safety right now. So southern Mays County, that storm is moving towards you, and so tornado warning continues on that storm. All right, let's go back to reflectivity. And okay, now we have that, uh, those are the three tornado warnings right now. Of course, tornado warning continues also for the counties uh, there in Jasper County in southwestern Missouri. Uh, so I'm going to not forget about those folks. Let's take a look at the uh, radar out of Springfield real quick. And these are some really damaging winds right now. This is in very intense, very strong damaging winds near da Jasper and Avila there in Jasper County, uh, also near Lockwood and Golden City. The rotation is up here just to the west of Golden City, but these are some extremely strong winds now doing damage here in Jasper County and on over into southwestern Missouri. So folks in those areas, you need to bat down the hatches and be prepared for damaging winds in the next few minutes. And right now it appears that there's two circulations, one right here between Golden City and Lockwood on the highway there, and also one back towards the west of Golden City. But this is the one that's probably gonna be taking over in the next few minutes. So folks in Lockwood, and eventually I'm over towards uh, South Greenfield, and also Greenfield, you are in the path of that rotation that is developing right now. And even if you don't get a tornado, there's going to be extremely strong and damaging winds occurring with these winds uh, just to the north and west of Mount Vernon. Extremely strong damaging winds. This is turning into a derecho type of event as these move off to the south and the east. Downburst winds are occurring right now just to the north and east of Carytown, north of Carthage there in southwestern parts of Missouri. All right, let's go back to uh, the Tulsa next rad and uh, see if anything, okay, now this storm seems to be lining out. So that's good news in one sense because it means the tornado threat is lessening, but still we have the circulation now approaching 151st Street between Glenpool and Bigsby, right around that White Hawk golf course area is where the center of the rotation is right now. So if you live in that area along 151st in South Tulsa, South Tulsa County between Bigsby and Glenpool on 151st, that's where the rotation is, and that's moving to the south and east. So folks uh, in that area around the Mole Home Park there where the highway memorial turns into Highway 64 going east towards Leonard, you're in the path of those very strong to rotating winds. And now the tornado warning has been canceled or has expired, but still some perhaps damaging winds associated with that. It's now at about 161st and let's say Yale, 161st and Yale moving southeast. So if you live east of Liberty, if you live east of Liberty and south of Bigsby, you're in the path of that particular rotation and that's going to be crossing into northern Okmulgee County in the next few minutes. Tornado warnings continue on these storms to the east in Mays and extreme southwestern Delaware County. Uh, rotations there just to the east of Shoto and also a broad level circulation now uh, just to the east of Adair approaching Strang and Hudal and also eventually on over towards Spavanaugh. So folks in Strang, Hudal and Spavanaugh, you are in the path of that particular circulation right now. All right, large hail still falling in Oklahoma City area. Uh, let's go down and take a look at the Oklahoma City radar. Uh, nothing rotating at this point in time. That's good news. Let's throw on the reflectivity. 
Uh, this is the terminal Doppler out of Oklahoma City. You can see lots of hail reports on the western side of Oklahoma City. Uh, these storms are severe and they're moving towards Washington and also the communities of Cole and Dibble there in McLean County and then also strong to severe storm in northern Grady County that's moving towards Alex and Ninot, uh, uh, Ninica and also towards Bradley. So folks in those areas, those storms are headed towards you with large hail and damaging winds in the next few minutes. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, well, let me I'm pull on the Oklahoma City uh, radar and we're gonna take a look and look at the KDP or the specific differential phase. And this kind of brings out the hail cores a little bit. And you can see hail core near Newcastle right now and north of Blanchard and also a hail core right in the Amber area moving to the southeast. So folks east of Chickasha, you're gonna be in the path of that hail core. And if we go up and take a look at the hail core up in the Tulsa area, uh, we'll throw on the next rad here. And there's lots of them. Big hail core now uh, in the center part of Tulsa. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on this area just east of where the Broken Air Expressway and I-44 come together in that little triangle area. Uh, that's around 21st Street and 31st, between 21st and 31st, and uh, between, let's say, the Highway 69, 169, and to the west. So large hail likely falling in that area right now, moving to the southeast. So folks, uh, in and around the 51st and 169 area, over towards where those office buildings are on the northeastern corner, and then eventually on over into the northern and western parts of Broken Arrow, large hail moving in that general direction right now. Uh, also some large hail uh, falling uh, just to the west of Sepulpa, uh, here west of Sepulpa, moving southeast. So folks in Keeper and Mounds and Kellyville, you're in the path of those particular storms with the large hail falling in the next few minutes. Uh, tornado warning, of course, uh, continues with those storms over in Mays County right now. Let's go back to velocities and show you the velocities there. Not seeing any real strong rotation right now, so that's good news. So it looks like that this event is now turning into straight line winds and large hail. But I do want to point out right now, just to the west of Strain and west of Hoodow, right there, this is where, and I'm going to draw on the radar here, this is where winds are kind of being drawn together here. It's where you get two squall lines kind of joining together. And this is where you get these bow segments or these what we call bookend vortices. And these bookend vortices can sometimes constrict enough to produce damage similar to a small tornado. So folks in Hoodow and south of Strain, very strong rotation developing right there on radar. Let's uh, bring up the velocities. Yeah, very strong right there. Definite rotating right here. Winds blowing away from the radar and towards the radar, very close together, just to the west of Hoodow. In fact, I'm gonna put the marker here on the center of the circulation. It's now about uh, four miles west of Strang and about five miles northwest of Hoodow. That's where the center of the rotation is right now. Moving to the southeast, folks in Spavinaw, and north of uh, Wycliffe, Wycliffe, or, no, that's Wycliffe, and north of Salina, on over towards Old Uchi, you're in this path of this rotation that's moving to the southeast. This is the tornado warning that's in effect right now for Mays County. It's just to the west of Strang, just to the west of Hoodow, moving towards Spavinaw, and Wycliffe, and Salina in the next few minutes. So folks in those areas, you need to move to your tornado safe spot right now. All right, let's uh, take a look at some of the, some of the other winds. Uh, some pretty strong winds now moving through southern Ottawa County, now moving into northern Delaware County around Grove, Zena, and Dennis, Cleora. It's just now passing through Beatrice uh, within the last few seconds. So folks near Cayuga and Dodge and southwest, southwest City, Missouri, these strong winds are moving towards you. Okay, uh, tornado warning continues now for the Mount Vernon area. For obvious reasons let's go to the uh, next red out of Springfield and we'll get a little bit closer in view on that storm 
Uh, and these are really devastating. These are really damaging winds now. All this bright blue here, this dark blue, very strong damaging winds. In fact, let's uh, take a sampling of it. Winds close to 100 miles per hour with these winds, and they are moving right towards the community of Miller. So Miller, Missouri, north of Mount Vernon, also Stotts City, uh, and La Russell, you're, if you're north of there, these strong winds are moving towards you, but the community of Miller is about to be hit with almost 100 mile an hour winds moving from northwest to southeast. So folks in Miller, Missouri, also over towards um, Halltown, there in southwestern Missouri, you are in the path of some very devastating and damaging winds in the next few minutes. Okay, now we, and also on the uh, Springfield next right, we can see a little bit better circulation here on that rotation south and east of Adair, moving towards Hudow and Spavanaugh. So as a result, 20 to 1 continues for Mays County. So Spavanaugh, Hudow, over towards uh, Old Uchi, and eventually, if this continues, on over towards Bull Hollow in the next few minutes there in Delaware County, as well as southeastern and eastern parts of Mays County. These storms are moving pretty good or pretty quickly. So as they continue to move to the south and east, uh, they should rapidly clear out of the Tulsa metro area in the next few minutes. But we have other thunderstorms back to the north and west, but these are not severe right now. The severe line stretches from near Grove to now near Pryor, near Shoto, on over towards the Catoosa area, into Broken Arrow, moving into Bigsby, also into Sepulpa and Bristow. And then the line breaks up a little bit. Then we pick up the line again in northeastern parts of Oklahoma County in the Oklahoma City metro area. But the strongest winds are certainly going to be this area up in the Mays County area, moving over into southern Delaware and northern Adair and extreme northeastern parts of Cherokee County in the next few minutes. You can see kind of a bow here developing with the radar on the reflectivity. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, get any more uh, pictures here of what's actually occurring. Uh, the, uh, I don't wanna show that. Just bear with me here. Sportsman Acres before the storm hit. Uh, okay, a car was blown off the third floor of the parking garage at the hospital at St. Francis Hospital. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that picture right now. So at St. Francis Hospital, this was blown off of the third story there at Tulsa St. Francis Hospital parking garage. Just kind of goes to show you what these winds are capable of doing. So even though you're not under a 20 to warning, a severe thunderstorm warning with these kind of winds can do damage similar to a small tornado. So uh, now this was near the Holly Refinery uh, when the storms were over in West Tulsa. And you can see the funnel cloud there near the Holly Refinery. So that again, this just kind of goes to show you what was going on when those storms were moving through West Tulsa on over into the Jinx area just a few moments ago. Uh, let's see here. That was uh, courtesy of uh, Jeff Lambert, uh, who was out in the field watching these storms as they've been moving through the Tulsa metro area. Okay, so that's what's going on right now. I'm not seeing any uh, updated pictures uh, to show you, but that was pretty impressive with the St. Francis uh, car being blown off the parking garage there. Uh, now let's go back and take a look at the velocities here with these storms. Yeah, this is turning into a straight line wind event now. So folks in Locust Grove, you're getting very strong winds now. So extreme strong winds near Iron Post, Locust Grove, moving over towards Cedar Crest. This is gonna move over towards Leach, Little Kansas, and Oaks, Chewy, Flint Creek, Cloud Creek in the next few minutes. Folks, in that area, you're in the path of these very strong to damaging winds that are now starting to develop and move in that general direction. The rotation is still just about on top of the community of Strang and Hudow. That's moving towards Spavanaw and Oluchi. So if you live in that area, that's where the strongest rotation is. But now we have very strong rear flank downdraft winds or downburst winds that are developing in Locust Grove, just to the east of Locust Grove. So my Aunt Joy, living there east of Locust Grove on the highway, you're about to be hit with some very strong winds 
So you might want to go inside the house there and get out of the, uh, uh, the uh, RV. But folks there in uh, that area around Iron Post, Locust Grove, Cedar Creek, and also to the east of there near Leach and Oaks, which is in northern Cherokee County and extreme southern Delaware County, you're in the path of these very strong winds. Let's uh, do some sampling here. And you can see winds approaching 63, 65 mile per hour now. So getting close to hurricane force winds, moving there into southeastern Mays, northern Cherokee, and southwestern Delaware County. That's where the strongest winds are right now. Okay, uh, also some pretty strong winds now moving through southern Ottawa County and northeastern Delaware County around Grove over towards Cayuga. This is the same area I was telling you about a few moments ago. So Cayuga, Dodge, you can see the wind's getting a little bit stronger there. That's gonna move over towards Anderson, Missouri and Lanigan and eventually on over towards Pineville, which is the county seat of, of McDonald County. Here's Knoll, so it's moving towards Knoll, Lanigan, Anderson and Pineville. These strong winds are moving towards you. Also some strong winds just to the south and east of Grove right now, moving towards Dodge and Southwest City, Missouri. Severe thunderstorm warnings are now being issued for northwestern Benton County in northwest Arkansas as well. Okay, now the winds, or this line of storms, is now starting to move into Wagoner County, northern Muskogee, northern Okmulgee County, and we're going to be watching this area just to the west of Beggs, between Slick and Beggs, as this storm is starting to rotate just a little bit. I don't like seeing that. So we're going to watch that. That will move to the south and east towards Beggs, and perhaps even eventually over towards Okmulgee and Morris there in northeastern Okmulgee County. So strong line of severe thunderstorms moving through our area right now. Severe warnings continue to the south and east. So folks in southeastern Oklahoma, uh, this event is just getting going and it's heading in your direction. Uh, but it looks like, and I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well today, but right now it appears that the worst of the storms will probably be from a line from Stroud to Okima to uh, maybe uh, around Canadian and then down towards Wilberton and points north and east. So folks in Muskogee, Salisaw, Tahlequah, Stillwell, Stigler, Shakota, Eufaula, Muggy, Henrietta, you are still in the path of this line of severe thunderstorms that are moving to the south and east. So folks over there uh, in Southern Mays, Southwestern Delaware, Northern Cherokee, and perhaps even Northern Adair County, that's where the strongest winds are developing right now. And so a tornado warning continues uh, for that area. Uh, severe thunderstorms continue for Oklahoma City area as well. Uh, let me uh, throw on this. You can see a severe thunderstorm continues for Grady County uh, due to the severe storm now in Chickasha and uh, also extending on over to the east of there uh, in around the coal area, getting ready to move into Washington. We're getting reports of some hail pull this up, uh, around dime size hail there in Chickasha in just the last few minutes. So folks in those areas, dime size hail being reported with those cells. All right, let's go back to the Tulsa next rad. And right now, and we're gonna look at the uh, velocities. And also I'm gonna pull up some, uh, someone sending me some pictures. Let me take a look. Just bear with me here. I'm the only one here in the office running everything, so it's just gonna take a second. Uh, yeah, just some, some really impressive lightning and clouds across our area as they're continuing to move to the south and east. And I'm sorry, I'm not able to uh, respond to any text messages or uh, messages on Facebook right now, but uh, just bear with us and uh, it'll take me just a second. I'm going to pull up Twitter and see if uh, we can see any new video. Well, this is a really interesting picture. This was taken by Steve Pilts, uh, National Weather Service uh, chief in charge, meteorologist in charge of the Tulsa National Weather Service. Uh, just a few moments ago, looking west from the office there at 11th and 169, very impressive lightning strike just a few moments ago. So 
Severe lightning, of course, is occurring uh, with these storms as well. Uh, let's see, shelf cloud on the, well, I already showed that. Mega squall line moving through eastern Oklahoma. This is Reed Timmer, uh, who's known for chasing with the Dominator. This is east of Claremore. You can see a large, bowl-shaped uh, squall line cloud, shelf cloud. There, this is the Casey's. This is probably on Highway 20 there, uh, east of Claremore. So we're getting lots of good pictures uh, from these storms as they continue to march to the south and east. Now, again, I want to emphasize the strongest winds by far are occurring in Snake Creek right now in extreme southeastern parts of Mays County. My aunt there, east of Locust Grove, is but being buffeted probably right now. This is moving towards Leach, Rocky Ford, Oaks, Little Kansas, and that northern part of Cherokee County, extremely strong to damaging winds, straight line winds, are moving towards you. If you live in Leach, Rocky Ford, Oaks, and Kansas, move to your place of safety even though it's a severe thunderstorm warning these winds are producing damage similar to a small tornado so uh, in fact let's uh, get a we're getting winds of close to uh let's see set hurricane force winds now just to the north and east of snake creek that's moving towards the community of leach and rocky ford in the next few minutes so folks in those areas in southwestern parts of Delaware County, you need to move to your place of safety and act as though it is a 20 to warning. Even though it's a severe thunderstorm warning, that's what we're dealing with, is we're dealing with extremely strong and damaging winds moving through southern Delaware and northern Cherokee counties right now. Uh, also watching these areas uh, to the west of Beggs. Uh, trying to maybe rotate a little bit along the leading edge of this gust front west of Beggs, but it's not all that impressive right now, but we're gonna to continue to watch that. All right, stay with us and we will keep you advised on the severe storms as they continue to roll to the south and east, but it's most urgent now for Southern Delaware, Northern Cherokee, and Northern Adair counties as some very strong and damaging winds are moving directly towards you. Stay with us and we'll keep you advised right here at the National Storm Channel.